Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to deploy a smart contract on Nexus Network. First, we're going to log in to our Ubuntu that we installed in our previous video. And we're going to log in as root. And then go to Nexus GitHub, so it's github.com slash nexus dash xyz and click on repos scroll down a little bit and you should see nexus counter app click on it then click on code and copy this url go back to the terminal make sure git is installed so apt install git so in my case i have it installed so now all you have to do is get space clone space and paste the url as you can see we download it so you can check my entering the command as you can see i have it in here so let's go inside see the nexus and the press tab and as you can see we can see the same folders in here that we have on github so if you scroll down a little bit you can see the instructions in here so git we did that cd we did that and now we want to install npm so i'm going to clear the screen and npm install so i don't have npm installed on my server so we're going to install it so just open a new tab and search for node source press enter and you will see it on github so what you want to do is scroll down all the way i'm going to install version 20 which is supported by ubuntu 24. so what you want to do is copy this one go back to the terminal and replace the 23 with the 20. you can keep 23 but i'm going to use the 20 because i'm used to it and go back to github Copy the second command, com command, paste it, then go back to GitHub and copy the third command and paste it. So this might take some time depending on how fast the computer is. So in my case, it's done. All I have to do now is node V to check. So I have node version 20 installed. So I'm going back to Nexus GitHub. So npm install. So this also might take some time. It might take five to maybe 10 minutes, depending on how fast your PC is. So you might get some warnings and that's fine. We can still run our application. So go back to GitHub and let's go to contracts. So CD contracts. So before running the second command, this one, uh, we want to get a private key. So what you need is your wallet, a private key. In that case, the best way is to use a burner wallet. So in my case, I'm just using a new wallet. All you have to do is a click on MetaMask, a click on account, and you should already have some next tokens if you are running the node. Anyway, go to the account details and show private key. Enter your password and you should see your private key. Now copy your private key in here and go back to the terminal. So if you look at the files in here, we have the env.example. We're going to copy this one to .env. So you can see now we have the .env file. What you want to do is want to open it using v.nv and the press. You can edit the file. 
you will see insert in the bottom so just delete this one and right click to paste the private key then click escape press escape on your keyboard the press column which is two dots on top of each other like this one and w to save and the q to exit so now we have entered our private key into the application so now we can deploy this one we can deploy the contract so npx so as you can see it's deploying right now and we got our contract address so that's the contract address so we're going to need this one for the next step so i'm just going to copy it and now what we want to do is we want to open this file so we want to go to the front end And what you want to do is you want to paste your smart contract in here instead of this one so paste it then press escape again colon W and Q and now we have entered our contract address so now let's go to the front and again and let's run our website so npm run dev this will run the website on our local machine so this is the url the local url for the website i'm going to copy it go to my browser open a new tab paste it and go to it as you can see the website has been deployed locally so we can now connect our wallet to our nexus wallet Make sure you have Nexus Network added to MetaMask and connect your wallet and you just click on increment and you can run a transaction. So approve the transaction. We can run another one. So as you can see in here, we have the transaction hash. So if you click on it, you can see it on explorer.nexus and that's my hash. So if you want to deploy it online, which is optional, but you can still deploy it online. You basically need two things. You're going to need a GitHub account and you're going to need a Vercel account. So let's just start with GitHub. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into GitHub. So I already have an account. I'm going to just log in. And what I'm going to do is actually create a new repo. So create a new repo. I'm going to call it Nexus. No need to fill any of this stuff. Just click on create repo and scroll down a little bit and you can should see the instruction in here. So I'm going to switch to SSH and you should see these instructions so what i'm going to do is first to press ctrl plus c to stop our local service i'm going to clear the window i'm going to go back to the app root folder so if you check in here we have a directory called git we're going to remove this one and add our own so add rm dash rf dot git as you can see now the directory is gone so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to git and copy this one don't worry about the hands mm. so actually if you check you will see a new git directory and no need for this actually we're going to need to add it so get add and dot to add all the files and then go back here you can copy this one as is just commit it and then switch to the main branch and then 
so we're going to add this remote so one thing you want to do before copying the last step is to actually add an SSH key so what you want to do is go to your account settings and GitHub. I'm going to open it in a new tab so I can go back to my repo so scroll down a little bit to the left side click on SSH and we want to add a new key I'm going to call it NexusVid you can call it anything you like to generate a new key the easiest way is to get the command is from Google just get SSH generate key and just copy this one or you can actually write it so go back to get paste it you can keep the email So you can see that's your public key just copy it and go back to github and paste it in here and add ssh key so now we have this key so i'm going to go back to repo and copy the last command and paste it in here so as you can see it was pushed to git so now if I reload this page, I should see my code. And there you go. Now I have my code on my own GitHub. So what we're going to do is to publish it online, actually create an account on Versal.app. So I'm going to close this and this and this. So to re so go to Versal.app, Versal.app and then log in with your GitHub account so the first time they might ask you some questions so anyway once you log in click on import project and choose the project that we have published so just keep everything as it is So this might take up to five minutes you can see the deployment process below in here so we have so we just have to wait now and as you can see the smart contract has been deployed so we're just going to continue to dashboard and in here you can see the under domains click on it it will open so connect your wallet you can see metamask will connect so you can click increment counter and confirm and as you can see the website in here is actually public so anyone can access it feel free to go to this website and increment increment my account and interact with my contract so i'll increment it one more time and as you can see the transaction hash below you can just open it in the explorer and there you go the application is working perfectly